Hello everybody, Stridebreaker back at it again with another episode of Pokemon Yellow Guide and we have just gotten out of Mount Moon and this time we'll be continuing on on our way to Cerulean City. Now if you go up here in Fire Red and Leaf Green you'll actually have a, a move tutor which some of you haven't seen yet, someone will teach you a move and it can only be done once so it's pretty much like a TM except you can't sell it. For Mega Punch that we already have and Mega Kick which is a 120 power move with 70% accuracy. So obviously one is a little, a little more reliable, but weaker one's a little more stronger, but less powerful. And now this area just seems to have no purpose, but if you... Ah, gotta get these freaking... Come on. Ah, like I know, I, I know which area it is, I just, I can't make, I can't, like make... There it is. You could find a great ball. Uh, a great ball is like a Pokeball, except that has a higher catch rate. Now, you want to be careful around here, because this is... You're not going to be able to have access to this area for a while, so you really want to make sure that... Oh, how you doing there, Coutella? Jumping for joy. Fan-fucking-tastic. Alright, yeah, you want to make sure that you have it all... Everything that you want to do here squared away, because you will not have access to here for a bit of time. Now, if you see an item here, it is a TM, I believe. Yes, TM04. So let me check this shit out. It's Roar, I believe. Or Whirlwind, same thing as Roar. God, there's just so many ledges here. Like, just just make one ledge, you're not confused, because I know that one idiot is going to jump off and be like, oh, I'm completely screwed now. I could have sworn there was a trainer. Yeah, I know, well, now there's one up there, but... So I guess there's none. Alright, so grass, you'll... Now, there is one new Pokemon you can catch here. It is Ekans, and it is not that good. There's not really any poison-type moves for it to use in this game. Um, it's just outclassed by absolutely everything. Uh, you could catch Sanchu earlier, so I'm not gonna... I already went over him. Uh... Like, I guess Glare? Oh crap, you tell it's low on health. Other than that, there's just not much more you could do, and you know, no Sludge Bomb. Like, it's just... It's outclassed by pretty much everything. I just... I, I can't recommend it at all. It really doesn't average stats. Like, I guess I could learn Dig, which is 100 power in this game, and I think Earthquake, yeah. But I just... I, I, I don't know know in what world that you would use it unless you like really like it which is pretty much the precedent with all pokemon which uh, that is a, a good thing to do later on in later generations make it so any pokemon could have like a niche that it can do really well or, like some unique way to use it like a molga that thing in pokemon x and y that thing is really cool to use once that you have access to the nuzzle and you know if acrobatics just great all right yeah so let's heal up the squad here Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Can I heal your Pokemon back to perfect health? Yeah, you know, Nurse Joy, you went to uh, years of college for us just to put my po my Pokeballs into a machine and press a button. Like, you are... Like, this is a world of Pokemon. Thank you, your Pokemon are, are fighting fit. Are fighting fit? Like, aren't you, shouldn't you say that they are in a fighting fit shape or whatever? We hope to see you again. Yeah, you hope to see my Pokemon freaking be dead. God, this guy looks so sketchy. Let's see what his deal is. Ever heard of Bill? Everyone calls him a Pokemaniac. I think people are just jealous of Bill, though. You wouldn't want to boast about... About their... Po Who wouldn't want to boast about their Pokemon? That Bill. I heard that he'll do whatever it takes to get rare Pokemon. Oh, God. We have a Poke prostitute now. Yeah, Bill, we are going to be seeing uh, a little bit of him later on. Yeah, but I thought I would uh, go to the... Oh, yeah, right here. This is the bike shop. Grass and caves easily handled bike shop. So if you go here, you can actually not get the bike. So if I talk to this, this freaking asshole here... Hi, welcome to the bike shop. We, we've got just the right bike for you. <laughs> yeah, one million dollars. When I was a kid, I actually thought, Oh, I'll just have to raise one million dollars. You max out... At $999,000. Uh, so you actually can't even possibly buy this bike. You need a password at some point. Which is just such a troll. Like that would be cool if you could actually buy the bike. But you get a pass and you can buy it later on. 
And you've gotten just one bike here. Like, it seems like there's, a uh, quite a bit. Oh, I zoned out there for a second. Alright, so if we keep going up here, uh, we are actually going to, uh, oh yeah, you could, uh, find a rare candy up here. Or wait, what am I talking about? Yeah, we, there's something very special here that I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting for. That's right. I'm finally going to get a, an actual teammate other than Pikachu. Well, not at this house directly, but... But yeah, this guy is uh, cool. He could actually tell you e about each individual badge you get. So like, I had the Boulder Badge, so the attack of all Pokemon increases a little bit. Now let's use Flash. So yeah, every badge gives you like a little... A, a bit. So that is uh, pretty cool. He tells you about what every badge is like function. It's because badges actually do give you some use, uh, full stuff. Sworn there's a hidden item here. Oh, well, I'll, look in, I'll consult the guide later on. And if there's anything about it, I will tell you guys.